Never before in the history of the world have humans been exposed to such a magnitude of chemicals, toxins, and pollution. And they are having devastating effects on our health. In this presentation, we are going to look at how this toxicity can impact our health and keep us from experiencing the vitality we so desire. And a 21-day approach to help bring you back to a more youthful level of this health and vitality. Some of it we can see, some of it we can't see. Air pollution is at an all-time high. Water pollution fouls our beaches, rivers, and streams. This is what was reported in 1989, according to the EPA. This is just the top 100 chemicals out of over 100,000, and just in the U.S. 550 million pounds of industrial chemicals were dumped into public sewage. A billion pounds of chemicals were released into the ground. 188 million pounds of chemicals were just dumped into rivers and lakes. Almost two and a half trillion pounds of air emissions. This is a total of almost six trillion pounds of chemicals dumped in the U.S. in one year. Never before in the history of the world have we been exposed to these kind of toxins. Toxins can now be found all over the earth, even sadly in the ice of the North and South Pole. In fact, interestingly too, polar bears are dying from eating seals that are in essence becoming a storage site for toxins. Remember, toxins store in the fat. In addition to this, watch this news clip about the Inuit people in Greenland, how their bodies now are becoming so toxic that their tissues can be classified as hazardous waste. Arctic natives are suffering from toxic industrial chemicals carried north by wind, ocean, and river currents, which are polluting the traditional food of native Arctic peoples in Greenland and Canada. The pollutants, including PCBs and up to 200 other hazardous compounds, are first consumed by zooplankton, then travel up the food chain to the ocean dwelling, and then land mammals. Concentrations of chemicals and pesticides in the bodies of Greenland's Inuit people are so high that their tissues can be classified as hazardous waste. Chemicals really are all around us. They're in paints, cleaners, solvents, dry cleaning. It's important to recognize this and to cut back our exposure as much as possible. Here are a couple of alternatives to some of the chemicals you might be currently using in your home. Orange Guard natural orange peel and water it repels bugs they do not want to come into your home i've used it for over two years in my house with excellent results you can also go to www.dirtdoctor.com with howard garrett and you'll find an amazing array of natural alternatives to a lot of the fertilizers and chemicals people use around their home now regarding inside your home go to a health food store close to you that carries natural cleaning products Investigate these and start making the change as soon as possible. Remember, we want two things. Cut back your exposure and build your body's ability to clear these chemicals so they do not try to store and cause tissue damage. On the back of your toxicity questionnaire is a risk of exposure questionnaire, and I encourage you to fill this out and see where you can start to make changes in your life to cut back on this toxic exposure. Another area that we need to discuss is that we are in serious dietary trouble in America. Our lifestyle pasteurization of milk, bleaching of grains and wheat, our artificial or fake sugars, fake altered oils, trans fats, hydrogenated fats, artificial colors and additives are all laying waste to our health. Soft drinks. Well, one of the active ingredients in soft drinks is phosphoric acid. It's a very acid pH, and it leaches minerals out of your teeth and your bone and your, your connective tissue. And it has to do that to alkalize that very acid state. But there are worse things about Coke even than the acid. Did you know that just 75 grams of glucose can knock your immune system down by 50%? And it takes five hours for that to come back to normal. This principle applies to more than colas. It applies to any food that is high in just pure glucose. Well, you might be surprised at the level of sugar your diet contains. Let's look at a video demonstration. What I'm going to show you is that your body turns carbohydrate food into sugar. 
Let's start with a typical breakfast of cereal, toast, orange juice, and a banana. Cereal has about one quarter cup of sugar. Toast has about one quarter cup of sugar. Orange juice has about one quarter cup of sugar. Banana has about one eighth cup of sugar. And that's just breakfast. Let's say around 10 a.m. you get hungry so you have a snack. Let's say you have a fruit on the bottom yogurt. This fruit on the bottom low fat yogurt has a whopping one quarter cup of sugar. And for lunch, let's say you're watching your weight, so you have a skinned chicken breast, baked potato, and some bread. There is no sugar in the chicken. But the potato has a heaping one quarter cup of sugar in it. And the bread also has a quarter cup of sugar in it. So now three o'clock rolls around and you're feeling a bit tired, so you have a few pieces of candy and a soda pop. The candy is about a quarter of a cup of you got it right, sugar. And the soda is about a quarter of a cup of sugar as well. Now for dinner, you're a good low-fat dieter and you're really trying to do the right thing, so all you eat is pasta. Pasta, bread, and a soda. And the pasta again is about a quarter of a cup of sugar. The bread, another quarter of a cup. And the soda, about a quarter of a cup of sugar. Now, are you getting the picture? Look at all this sugar in the foods you're eating. Incredible, isn't it? Keep in mind now that these spikes of sugar demand a spike in insulin to push all this sugar out of your bloodstream. Now, that's just one day's worth. Multiply that by 365 days, and then by how old you are, and you should be getting the picture of why most of us have had such a hard time losing weight, and why many of us suffer from such a variety of health ailments.